With the 29th pick in the 2018 NBA Draft, the Brooklyn Nets select Janan Musa from Bihaj Bosnia and Herzegovina and KK Sedevita in Croatia. They put Adam to work with that pick. Janan Musa from Croatia here in the stands in Barclays Center celebrating this moment. He's a first round pick of the Brooklyn Nets. Hawks on the clock with the final pick of the first round. Mike Schmidt, scout extraordinaire back with us. Janan Musa, what does he bring to the Nets? Yes, yeah, Janan Musa is a Bosnian scoring machine. 6'9 wing was one of the most decorated youth prospects at the FIBA level we've seen. Really started gaining steam as a prospect at age 15 and has been getting buckets ever since. Zanan Musa! Give me the Zanan Musa, please. Guy who's uh, an ABA League top prospect out of Bosnia. Now we check in with Trey, who apparently knows a lot about players out of Bosnia. Hey, Trey. Yeah, Casey, I'm here with some Nets fans. I found them, and they are pumped up <laughs> for Jean and Musa. What do you think about Jean and Musa? I got to be honest, I can't say I've ever seen him play a single play of basketball, <laughs> but I mean, he can only help the team, right? So hopefully he comes, comes, to, comes to the United States and plays ball for us. That's all I can ask for. I love it. What are your Jean and Musa thoughts? As long as he can shoot the three, I'm good. Shoot it, Janin! Shoot the three! <laughs> All right, question, can he shoot the three? I'm going to go to my uh, area. Uh, he shoots 32% from three, so that's a no. So he'll uh, fit in with the Nets. He's, six, he's six, a 6'9 six, wing, uh, known for his sneaky, quick first step, creates his own shot, vision, uh, weaknesses, not an elite-level athlete. His favorite team is the Lakers. I don't think that'll help him with the Nets. Uh, but a project, one thing we said, Griff, if there's a team that can take on projects, this is the team who's got the time to take on projects. Not only that, what's really interesting about Jonan is he is a player who identified himself throughout the interview process as being like Manu Ginobili. He thinks of himself as being that type of wing. If you look back at Manu when he was drafted in the 50s by San Antonio, he didn't make threes either. And he really wasn't an elite three-point shooter for quite a while in his right. career and probably would have never been identified as that. But what he was identified by was his ability to make plays and be tough to guard, and John and Musa is that. This kid puts the ball in the basket, has a very high basketball IQ. He played at Sedevita last year, which is not a super high level. If you were going to let him stay overseas and wait yep. for him, you would want to control where he goes and put him at a higher level of competition. Has a very slight build. He's a little frail, so it's going to take some time. But again, these are all things you said about Manu Ginobili.